Hey everyone, Tusk Reaper here. I'm going to do this quest right here. It is the Lord's Dust. You get it from this brother right here of the Silver Flame, Descartes. We'll go ahead and get that going. Get the quest from him. We get up here. Now, you've got several difficulties. Usually this is uh, really meant for a group. Um... But uh, my character is pretty high level. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it on... Uh, I'm going to do it on level 20. And casual, my particular character is only uh, basically 20th level paladin and one level in epic. So basically 21. And uh, we'll go ahead and do it on epic casual. All right. Inquisitor Nomen waits for you. I'm just gonna breeze through the the things. Sorry for the echo. I can fix it by muting my sound whenever they talk. And I'm just gonna put the most important ones on me. All right. Click on Sacred Defense. Do, 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 do. And here we go. All right, so we'll take a quick look at the equipment. Um, I'm using a plus six Vorpal Scimitar feeding and a plus five Death Block Heavy uh, Spirit Craft Shield of Physical and Magical Resistance 15. Um, and of course, you know, I got some other things. One of the other things that you'll see um, is the Cloak of Night. Even though it's a level eight item and I'm level 20. Uh, 21. The it has invisibility guard and dusk. You can typically manufacture this during Halloween times, which uh, I'm going to try to improve that cloak this next Halloween coming up. And it is only a seasonal thing that you can get. So uh, just a little FYI on that. <clears throat> I'll bring him up here. Their souls are cleansed. However, there may be more of them. We must press on. All right. Go this way and dispatch the rest of this building. You go the other way. All right, I'll go ahead and fix the echo. Went ahead and muted my sound as you saw up there. There we go. Yeah, I knew you didn't. Didn't get clear. Now, I love Paladin, so you say what you want. I, it is my favorite class. I like Artificer a whole lot, too. Um, so, as far as my favorite classes go, it's going to be... Uh, Art or Paladin, Artificer, um, and then it, it's it's just going to be tough after that. Um, I do like Cleric. Cleric's got some really cool spells. If I don't purify the altar and I just shatter it, like if I don't have a holy type character in here, then these become creatures. I'll show you on the next one. Yeah, so that's kind of kind of interesting. Yeah. 
and sometimes there's a boss dog that spawns here. He's pretty tough. So uh, just bear that in mind. Oh, oh, oh. oh. dog going to be down. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. There are light scuff marks around go. the bookshelf on the right, as Ooh. if it had been moved frequently. All right. All right, so this one, I'll do shatter the altar, and you'll see they become alive. All right, there we go. The novice who nah, poor guy lies on the ground in the hallway ahead. Now remember, whenever you're dealing with mages. Deal with the mages. You do not want to fart around with these mages. Yeah, that's part of the problem. And they're tough. As the path leads down, and I don't need that. I'll go ahead and skip it. And sinister temple, and less like skip an that. empty warehouse. All right, here we go. A dank now I've got some death knights to deal with. The clink and beat of hardened steel echoes from the corridor ahead. Now it's important to note, you know, hit sunder and trip. A lot of times, if you're dealing with single opponents, um. You can uh, easily uh, defeat them if you're able to uh, sunder them and or trip them or a combination of both. Um, also, by breaking your breakables gives you a chance, it's a rare chance of actually not just finding money and gems and stuff, but uh, other items that may uh, fall like armor and weapons. Corral them up. Oh yeah, a little lag, a little lag. Here we go. Yeah. And I'll just come up here. I'll mess with this altar. Pick fight. Yeah, this dude's pretty tough. That little blue symbol that goes above him, that's him thats him saving, and when one comes above me, um, that's me saving. See, I'll hit him. See, he saved. I'm going to hit trip. He saved. 
but I still do considerable. Uh, I do a little bit more damage um, as well. So, and I'll just rebuff. I'm gonna rebuff everything. Sometimes there's a chest that spawns here. And another rest point, but uh, going to pass on it. Any other character, most likely I would be uh, not passing. I would be uh, actually using it. But I've got still 610 uh, spell points considerable amount of health so and I still have three more shots of my good of the good stuff um, that guy's gonna come to life nothing I can do um, this guy spawns. He's like ethereal, more or less, when he's casting his spells to get those guys up. There we go. Alright, and now at the last boss. Confident looking drow. They seem to be finishing some elaborate and unholy ritual. Quite a dialogue. What? Surprised I am not who you thought I was? I should have killed you at All the right. start. This is nothing, my friend, a nuisance. The ritual is underway, and the silver flame is powerless to stop it. So pray, shall we continue? Now, give yourselves, my children, give to the glory of our cause. Stand aside! Let my minions kill this filth! This guy's a spellcaster, so you just, man, you gotta be careful with him. He's very dangerous. Now you can't trip him. I've done it before. Click, click. It's because all those protections I put on myself uh, really helps me out. My lay on hands heals me like full health. So it's, that's amazing.
Uh oh. Yep. I'll show you here. Boom, 576 hit points. So that's more hit points than I actually have. That's amazing. All right. Let's say necromancy focus. There we go. And then to turn in, we don't go back to the same guy. We go right on over here. And then we choose our reward. Hmm, interesting. So, I'll just pick whatever. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and uh, that is the Lords of Dust Quest.